the next day, me and Brittany wound up seeing uh, a doe and two younger does. Um, but I'm back here at the exact same place this afternoon or the next afternoon. Um, it was a work day, so I'm running a little late. Uh, I don't have but a little bit of time to hunt. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my face mask on. I'm going to grab this crossbow um, that Brittany was using last night. And I've already got the tripod set up ready for the camera to go on it. So I think I'm going to slip in here and see if I can sit on the ground and either do some spot and stalking or possibly just set up on one of these trails that these deer were using the other night. There's a lot of acorns hitting the ground right now. Um, and I got a feeling that I can get down there get set up up against the bottom of a tree and hopefully shoot a deer from the ground with a crossbow. I've never shot a deer from the ground with my bow and I've also never shot a deer with a crossbow. I've actually never hunted with a crossbow. So this is the first time that uh, that I'm gonna be using one. This is the, the Wicked Ridge M370 and uh, super nice bow for the most part. It's really lightweight, which I really like. And then it's super compact once it uh, once you get it cocked. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now. Let's uh, try to get this thing cocked and ready to roll. And then let's go see if we can shoot a deer this afternoon, guys. So the other night, those deer come from behind us to the left and we're kind of working their way down this ridge. Now the other night my dad seen a deer also out of this same stand and it was coming from the bottom, coming up, but was going towards where those deer came from the other last night when Brittany was here. So I think my game plan it's hard for y'all to see, but right through there, there's that, that's the ridge it feeds down. And right here on this ridge right down in there is where the stand is at that me and Brittany was hunting. So I think, I don't know, I need to get down here and take a look and see. But, like right here, there's a phenomenal trail. I don't know if y'all can see it, that right there. That's a really good deer trail. And this right here, that right there is why they are in here. They are feeding on those white oaks. All right, change of plans, guys. I think I'm gonna try to climb the deer stand. No, I'm not gonna climb it. I'm gonna get right down here.
a deer coming down the hill right now. Looks like a doe. about 55 yards right there. deer went back up the hill. She's just feeding around. I think she may, she may come across the top of this ridge. She came over here on top of this ridge. I don't think she's going to cross low enough for me to get a shot at her, though. She's about 50 yards right there.
walk into that lane right there. That tree right there is 35 yards.
sister. freaking dough. whatsoever. smoke. I'm going to give it just a little bit. I want to replay this footage. And then I'm going to go look at my arrow. That's going to be a telltale sign. I can I can ease right down here and get my arrow. Whoa. I thought I heard something. 
something. The pole arches are jumping. Crash right there. Deer 
was standing. That tree right there is where I was sitting down at. I mean, it's exactly 20 yards. I just hit her. I just hit her a little back. So, that's all we can do. We, we got to back out, though. Have to back out. We got to give this deer some time. All right, guys, let's break this down. So, shot placement, definitely too far back. Not a good thing at all. Um, it's one of those things where it is going to happen at some point in your hunting career. If you are hunting with a bow, you're going to hit that deer back. Now, the one thing that you've got to learn that's very difficult to learn at first is to not be over aggressive when you get there you've got a bad feeling about the shot you get there and then you see the evidence that i seen on the arrow when you see the evidence other than a guttural feel of that you made a bad shot you have got to back out and give it time and i'm a strong believer in if you even question that you may have shot that deer a little bit far back or maybe you didn't get the penetration in it that you were looking for back out because the worst thing you can do is go jump that deer off of a bed fingers crossed guys we find this doe it breaks my heart the i've got a question in the back of my mind you know you try to do your part but sometimes we're you know we're human we don't we're not perfect um but you try to train and try to do the best that you can so that when that shot opportunity does arise you're ready and you do the animal the ethical shot that it deserves um unfortunately i don't think that, that happened on this one which i don't know you never know until you get up there it may be a lot better shot than what i think but it's pretty clear it, it's back i just got to keep my fingers crossed that there's a little bit of lung on on uh that that arrow got so let's go over here let's go pick up dad let's go pick up zoe and uh, let's go see if we can find some big mature dough easy easy Right there's my arrow. I know y'all can't really tell a whole whole lot about it, but doe was standing right here. She took off out through there and looped back up there, kind of high. So we're gonna take our time, see what we can see. All right, guys. First couple steps into it. I've got some blood here. It's uh, pretty dry, but again, it's been, i turn this on so y'all can see a little bit better. Right in here, some blood. Got a little bit more blood right in here. Looks like she goes kind of through that. Guys, I heard Dad hollering. You got her? Yeah. <laughs> Zoe find her? Heck yeah. The blood trail, I mean, I was on the blood trail, but. Really? He was circling that way. Holy smokes. That daggum rascal. So guys, that coyote that we seen. Shoot. This is where I thought I seen, last seen her at. She never even left this spot. That dang coyote. Right over there somewhere. Looks like she, she stopped right over there and, and bled in a pretty good circle. Just come up and down right here. I think I heard her fall there at the end. Good girl, Zuki. Good girl, babies. Hmm? Good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah. Good girl. <clears throat> I can tell you what we can do is uh, me and Guffy and Josh can bring our happy hind ends down here and kill that coyote for sure. 
I hate that that uh you know we waited that long for that to happen but you know this is part of it I hate it but you know, I think we did the right thing waiting I mean she was dead up here probably before probably before I left but that's just if you're not sure if you're not sure about the shots you gotta you gotta back out and wait on it but um we're gonna get her on the four wheeler and we'll get her we'll get her back up here so that you guys get a little bit better look at her but that's her just unfortunate that the coyotes found her before uh before we did well guys hopefully y'all can see me and hopefully y'all can hear me right here uh i got the doe up here like i said the coyote got to her before we could that's just part of it um i hate i had to wait as long as i did but the doe never left this ridge top um once she got up here i'm pretty sure this is where i mean she didn't go anywhere and we probably could have come up here and got her a couple minutes after i shot the entry point on the doe ah, ah, come here girl give me here zuki see it see it we gotta get you on camera girl we gotta get you on camera she's excited zoe found her for us which is which is also pretty cool this is her first deer for the year so she's excited to be out here running around um but the entry on this deer was a lot not better but that's what saved me the exit wound is definitely a little bit far back she was actually quartering to me a little bit more than what I thought she was. So that entry wound, I actually clipped what looks like part of her lung and actually some of her liver. Um, so that's the reason that she came up here and just uh, judging by the blood trail, it looks like she just come up here and hung out and stood for a minute. Um, and then she eventually just bedded down and she expired right here. But unfortunately, <laughs> it was not before the coyote founder but what a cool hunt that's a that's a really cool way in my opinion to to do this uh with a crossbow from the ground no ground blind um just using the terrain using the the natural woods and sticks and stuff to try to outdo this uh this beautiful white-tailed doe good mature doe she's gonna eat really really well i'm super excited i was able to put her on the ground for you guys um like i said this is the first time i've used the new uh crossbow this year i've never been much of a crossbow hunter it's still a little big and awkward for me um i think i'm gonna hang it up for a little bit and go back to my hoyt i, I miss my hoyt to be honest with you guys but this right here is definitely a uh, good way to utilize a crossbow um part of the time if you've got an area where maybe you don't want to get up in a tree stand or maybe you can't get up in a tree stand a crossbow is a phenomenal way to get down in the ditches uh set at bases of trees and actually go in and shoot these deer on the ground so that's a really really good tool to use but guys thanks so much for hanging out with me what an awesome awesome way to kick off the season we had a phenomenal year last year uh, and i'm hoping for an even better one this year so thanks so much for hanging out with me if you're new to southern extreme tv make sure you hit that subscribe button in the top left corner every click gets me one step closer to mine and zoe's goal of 100,000 subscribers be sure to drop a comment down below and i'll see you guys next time good girl that's a good girl